you know, they signed him at the end of the day, and I think it was a couple of years in the making, maybe. So it's Joey Essex. It was amazing. It was so fun. We were actually nervous at the point where we were shaking and like felt sick that we'd have to go and kind of end someone's journey. Um, definitely mixed opinions across the board. We thought if we have to decide in couples or as a group, there's no chance we're getting a decision because everyone wanted to go differently. Um, but yeah, we're happy that we all got to say our bit. But it was not nice to send someone home. But yeah. And did you have to lock in your decision with producers beforehand or was it very much on the spot? No, did you get yeah. to hear what other people said? They was completely open to whoever you wanted to pick, but you did have a chat with the executive producers beforehand and they were like, right, okay, once you decide, you can't change it because they do need to know kind of what way it's going. But it was our own choice who we wanted to pick. And do you think the right couple went? Do you think it was Joey and Jesse's time at that point? Because obviously the public opinion started to fade around Joey a little bit at that point. Yeah, I, think. I don't think it's yeah going great for him. Like, on the Have you heard how he's... Publicity. But I'm sure he'll be able to bring it back. I'm sure him and his manager will, will crawl, it, crawl it back from somewhere. Um, but I think the right couple went. I think I feel bad for Jesse because obviously she is just like a normal member of the public. Um, so she does deserve to be in the final, but with Joey, is it's just like another dating show for him. So I really wanted it to be all normal, genuine couples and make sure that it was here for the right reasons. And I think we got that in the end. And a lot of people referred to him on the outside as a producer plan. What would be your take on that? Were you aware of him getting any sort of special treatment or extra interactions with producers that maybe you guys didn't have? Yeah, I think there was. Like you know, they signed him at the end of the day, and I think it was a couple of years in the making, maybe. So. It's Joey Essex, he's going to kind of lay down his, they, they've got rules to lay down with us, but he's got his own rules to lay down with them yeah. to say, yes, I'm going to go on. So I think there was special treatment, yeah. And obviously everyone's left now, the final's over. Who are you going to be keeping in touch with? Have you got a, a big WhatsApp group going on or has anyone been yeah, excluded yeah, yeah. from well, it? No, we have a big WhatsApp group going on. Anyone that gets dumped, we would get their number and put it in the WhatsApp group. Um, super close with Harriet, Samantha and, and Jess as well and Uma. Obviously we just spent a couple of days in the villa together and then I also can't wait to see Mimi and Matilda who I didn't meet, can't wait to meet her because she's from yeah. my, like, we're from the same area so I can't wait. And then finally, has anyone slid into your DMs since the show? Have you got any romances on the horizon? No, the DMs are open, guys. Where's all the sliding? Because I'm not seeing any yet. <laughs> Maybe tonight will be the night. You might meet someone. Yeah, I'll meet my boyfriend. Fingers crossed. Yeah, fingers crossed. Yeah. Well, thank you and have thank a good you. night. Thank you. Thank you.